Welcome to day episode number eight, season two of News Y30 channel. I am Agnos Kobiangeman and um, the Olympics has been started and I'm going to talk about the, the, the Pan Chang Olympics where we just started on Friday, which is February 9th. It's like in South Korea where they start at 6 a.m. In Korean time, it's not at an Eastern time, so it's changed the time time slot different for for a beginning and opening ceremony in the in the morning, early in the morning. Wow, in the Korea where you guys will wake up and you have to watch opening ceremony in this in this early morning. Jeez, you have to wake up and start eating breakfast before you can watch the opening ceremony. That's how you do in in morning. Anyway, so it's time for a news update, and here it is. Um, let's see here on the TorontoStar.com says, oh, there's a Doug Ford. Um, he will run the professional election if the loses Ontario PC leadership race. Okay, so it was supported by Canadian Press. So here it is. Um, in Ottawa, Doug Ford says he will run for a seat in Ontario League lecture this June even if he loses the leadership for Ontario Progress coverage but Ford said he's confident he can translate his electoral success in Toronto into a win provincially. He says he growing the Ontario PC by bringing the NDP lip and the liberal voters who are just as physically confident very cons conservative and against the liberals as long term PCs for the peer at a networking conference for our conservatives in Ottawa this week. The second of the three PC Canadians were addressing the crowd. Christine Elliott was expected to speak later this morning where Carolyn Murray spoke on Friday. The Ontario PCs were elected a new leadership beginning March 10th. Okay, so looking forward to see for Doc Floyd if he wins, then he'll become an Ontario PC leadership after Patrick Brown leaves with the century or so. So let's see what he can do for Doc Floyd. If he wins, he, he will be confident to join the Ontario PC conservative leadership. To become in the future next mayor, maybe Doug Floyd, maybe if possible. So that's what the Canadian press on. Let's see here, Saturday, February 10, 2017, which is today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. Um. Let's see here. Next is um. Let's see here, uh, next news update, uh, oh, there it is, um, North Korea extends the well invitation for South Korea president of Pyongyang visit. Yeah, that's why they extended for invitation, is by the North Korea. So it's Tom Han Kim and Foster Club. In Seoul, Korea, Republic of Republic of Korea, I think I don't know, maybe Republic of South Korea or North Korea. A rare invitation, Pyongyang for South Korea president marked by day two of the North Korean Kim Dynasty. Dynasty South Road Tour Saturday part of. Accumulation diplomatic thought that includes the South, some Korea liquid over the lunch and share the joy of watching on if I Korea team play hockey at the Olympics. It was a confirmed it's official. They're gonna play hockey in Korea. So I thought last time they they disappointed by the NHL because they did not gonna play the hockey, that's why having problems with the winter they like so 
they can play Olympics in hockey in Korea. That's official. So nothing has been settled on any trip, nor is South Korean President Moon Yang. But the verbal message to come at a convenient time with dictator Kim Jong Kim Jong Un delivered by his missing young sisters Kim Yong Jong as a part of the sudden rush of improving feelings between rivals during the Pyeongchang Olympics. The results are heavy sometimes surreal a state of affairs in South Korea and seem more than threat than a charm out of nowhere. Still, what well, it would be a South Korea if people were asking the permanent question when it not, comes to North Korea changing gears and shouting it rivals with apparent affection. What's in for Pyong Gang? So it was pulled by Tong Pang Kim and Foster Clark from the Associated Press on Saturday, February 10, 2017. Yes. It is the day two of the Pyeong China Olympics, so wish you let's see if the United States, America and Canada if he can win gold or silver or bronze, maybe they're gonna tally up in Pyeong China twenty eighteen Olympics. It's on NBC for the United States C B C the home of the Olympics and specialities. TSN and Sportsnet. Three of these are in Canada. One, NBC, ABC, and CBS. Ah, guess so. So, next is the outrageous following guilty in General Stanley in shooting dead of Colton Boshi. That's that's what happened. So it's Porter Bill Graveland from Canadian Press. So in battle for his satisfaction, the federal justice minister has said the country can and must do better. After White Father was acquitted in the shooting death of young indigenous man, a verdict that sparked a fire song with the criticism from the First Nation First Nations groups across Canada. A jury in Battle for Sachs, Washington deliberated 13 hours before the finding General Stanley not guilty of the second degree murder Friday in the 2016 death of Colton Bolshe, a resident of the Red Fascinant First Nation. Justice Minister Johnny Wilson Wagner tweeted by the <clears throat> sympathy of Bushi family, Bushi's family, yes. Uh, adding, she is committed to working every day to ensure justice for all Canadians. Red Ferris and First Nation Chief Clint Merchant called the ruling absolutely perversive. Colton Bushi was shot in the back of the head at the point of black range. Nevertheless, an all-white jury formed a twist of view of the obvious truth and found Stanley not guilty, he said. Wooty added, and that very crushes spirit of the people of Red Pheasant First Nation. Oh boy. Boshi's family had previous expressed concern that the deck was stacked against them during the court. Alvin Batiste uh, Bushi's uncle said, "There's needs to be change. Yeah, there's needs to be a change. Sometimes it has to be done about this to government. Justice Bureau, we ask you to give indigenous people justice." But he said, "All right, all right. That's a that's a in South Washington. There's a shootout by the innocent." Colton Boshi was dead, shot in the head, in the back. So it was played by Canadian Press, Bill Graveland from Canadian Press on Saturday, February 10, 2018. Yes, um, that was a blast. That was an outrage blast. So that's a news update. So time for a sports update.
beginning the Olympics. So let's see here for Canada here. And now Canada boys and lost by in the semifinals. Oh man. Oh man. Moist and lost only in the semifinals. This is this is called curling. In the semifinals. So they play versus to South Korea. Your home in Pyeongchang Olympics. That's South Korea who played the curling. So that's your home. Pyeongchang Olympics in South Korea. That's your home. In Olympics. So In Chang, non Korea, Republic of Republic of what? Republic of Korea or South Korea. Canada makes doubles curlers. Sean Moyes and Caitlin Laws have clinched a semifinal berth at the Pyeongchang Olympics. Moyes lies down Switzerland, Jenny Perret and Martin Wheels in a seven seven to final score in a six ends on the Saturday morning defeating Anastasia Bizagova and Alexander Krashow Nish 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 Nick Nish Nick I don't know how to spell that way. So Alexander Crush Nish from the Olympic athletes from Russia team eight to final score. More lots have won five straight. That's great. That's great, Canada. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. He's doing good. He's doing good in Canada. Very well done, Moise and Laws in curling. So keep it up and good luck in the semifinals against the South Korea. We won five straight after opening competition. After opening competition with a loss to the North Lane. We're just being patient. We are playing good, consistent curling, and grinding out some good wins. Moy said it helps when Caitlin is making some great last shots. It is a feeling, but we know we are for some really tough games. In early match, Ken has six two lead after five ends, and Switzerland blocks rollout out of the house on its final throw of the sixth frame, giving Moise and Lars the steal. The switch then took a hand to call the game. The Canada jumped out of 4-0 to zero lead against the Olympic athletes with Russian team before adding dues in a fourth end to take 6-1 lead. Like 6-1 lead. Moise and Lars added another dues in the sixth end before shaky hands. Despite their loss, the Russians also qualified for the semifinals. Oh right. All right, Canada. All right, John. All right, Caitlin. Good luck in the semifinal when you make it to the finals if you defeat South Korea, this hometown, this hometown in the Pyeongchang Olympics. Maybe you can do that. Let's see. It was, uh, it wasn't, well, it's, no one reported, no one reported, so they're gonna update it from the Toronto Star. Maybe it's gotta be K or it's gotta be associated or we, we don't know. Maybe it's gotta be an Olympics reporter. Yeah, we we'll call that Olympic reporter. Anyway, so next. Any sports, any game, any hockey or basketball, what's going on? It's all Olympics. And Frederick Anderson has put the team numbers. Yes. It's good to load. So Leeds have Frederick Anderson puts the team before his numbers. So we have to wait until he. Okay. Um, I think the the internet is slowing. So <laughs> gotta drink the water for a second. That's better. That's better. And water's keeping good. And 
leaves at Fred Anderson and puts to the team before he's done with. Let's see. Mark Sawinski from the Sports Player in Toronto Star, February 9, 2018. It says, if the lead scholarly Fred Anderson seems about Friday when he asks about being mentioned in the Vincent Trophy talk, that, that's because he was. Anderson was a one of the NHL best saving percentages since Christmas, and his 44 saving performance against Nashville on Wednesday. 50, if you include the shootout, might have been the most dominated performance of the season. But Anderson doesn't doesn't concern himself much with his numbers or what they may lead to. He worries about stopping the puck and winning against the team comes first. What does he think of Vance off? Nothing right now, Anderson said. There's more than important things to do and we have a lot of work in front of us. The least third in the elected division have 26 games left in the regular season before the playoffs in the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs 2018. Starting with the Ottawa Senators basically Saturday night and seeing headed towards the first round playoff matchup with the second place Boston five points ahead of Toronto or Tampa eight ahead if the Bruins can pass lightning but the focus on Anderson and his teammates is simple get better every day. Anderson has shown him a dramatic improvement in the shooter after allowing 11 goals and 23 shots and posting 1-7 to record in the extra session of last season. Anderson is 5-1 to in this season with his 21 stops on 21, 21 stops on 27 shots. But one of his biggest strengths has been how he has responded to the goals. I try to be best and I want to be among that category for me. The regular goaltender says aren't useful to work back too much. And as you said, I look at the goals against the stage, will you have done something different or is that what I try to do in that situation? Alright, so that's a uh, February would say he's doing good. He's doing passion say trying to working working to block the goal to block the goal. He's joining that joining Dark English versus Nashville. He doing he's doing great because he's trying to trying to save that try to get that point to save that to save that block. Because he's trying to make that shootout during the shootout. He cannot in the Wednesday night hockey game on Sportsnet, so he's trying to get that puck into the goal. He tried to block the save, so he wants to go home. He wants to go home and 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 make a win. So Maple Leafs win uh, on the Wednesday night hockey, which is last time on Wednesday, which is um, February seventh. Wednesday, February 7, 2018. I just don't know the scores or I'll find it. That score, I think, 3 to 2, I'm guessing 3 to 2. I think 3 to 2. I think Maple Leafs won and Nashville lost during the shootout in overtime shootout. Alright, so. Oh! How about this? Um, how about this? All four Canadians are gone to the final. Oh man, how about this? In the Olympics, Canada Max Parrot earned 87 points, 87, 36 points. That is amazing. Moving up to the second, to second run. That's, that's amazing. In Pyo Chan Korea, again, for Republic of South Korea, Canadian snowboarder Max Parrot using something thumb hip hop on the headphone uh, for his first slope sign qualifying run at the Winter Games on Saturday. He dialed the tunes back for a bit the second run and used a more relaxing approach his border and pay up the best score Phoenix Park. Pair lead the way as four Canadians in the hell qualified for the final. Pair posed a score eighty seven point thirty six to nudge the team Mark Mark Norris into a second slot, 86.83. My second one was more than tropical musical, Perry said. Just really happy, you know. Perry looked pleased and confident as he delivered a Polish run that was mixed up power and finesses. 
I mean, penises. Penis. Penises. Whatever you're going to call that. Anyway, good job, Max Baron, for the snowboarding slope. Snowboarding. For doing the. doing. for making this top. to making. for this second round. second round. before you're heading to the. to. to the slope style final. for qualifying. to win the gold medal or silver or bronze medal. I hope so. Let's see how we can do. Oh, and um, let's see where we can. All right, so here it is. Let's see. Uh, let's see how many how many gold medals. Let's see the Pion Chang, Pion Chang medal medal list. Yeah. Uh, how many medals? How many medal list count? How many medals? Join day one and day two. Let's see here. Oh, I can, oh, uh, so let's see here. Um, can we show the, the list of the gold medals? Um, can we show the list? Can we show the list of the gold medals? Uh, can we show the can we show the medal list? Um, sorry, uh, this is this is a long time to do this for the news toy fairy child. So I have to build the studio after the season two ends. So I have to build a studio which is some form and studio microphone and much more to build and also the 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 door the door we need to replace the door and the door handle too so can we find the metal list can we can we find the metal can we find a metal list how many how many they collect how many they collect by the country who wins the medal uh how many how many characters they win? How many Okay let's see here let's see um let's see here um here it is um oh Netherlands win gold medal and and silver medal too one bronze it was by Netherlands and now for Germany Germany wins a gold medal too and now South Korea oh man South Korea is in second place are tied in the second place with the one gold medal and Sweden too are tied with South Korea and Germany man man one 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 every each one country gets a goal three of them gets a goal man and now for North Way, two silver medals, that's fine, and six are Shenzhen Republic, one bronze, and Finland, and also Olympic athlete from Russia. So they are all A, all A R, all A R, like Olympic athlete from Russia. They won bronze medal. But we haven't seen Canada, United States. Uh oh, zero zero zero. Uh oh, zero zero zero. They need to work it. Out. They need to work it up to to pass to pass to win the gold medal or bronze or silver. Come on, Canada, and United States, but North America, true North strong to to win. Jeez, wow. And. That's a sports update for the Pion Chang and some Maple Leafs news. But the basketball I did not talk about. We'll get him next daily episode number 19. So let's see the weather. Today's weather is going to be a light snow. There's going to be a snow day. And so there's a snow. There's a snow right there. There's snow right there, and uh, yeah, it's very bad weather, so it's going to be six, minus 16 degrees right now, so, and for, 
and for twelve and for twelve p.m. to to four p to three p.m. twelve to three p.m. will be a will be a lot of snow. It's not light snow. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be a moderate snow. And now four p.m. there's going to be snow showers when it comes down to four degrees. And now twelve to three will be five degrees minus. And for a chance for snow shower, 6 p.m. will be 6 degrees minus. And the clouding and will be 6 at 9 p.m. And now for midnight at 17, 7, not 17, 7 degrees on 12 a.m., which is Sunday evening, 7, midnight, 8 degrees. Morning seven minus seven degrees turning to a light snow for tomorrow and Sunday Sunday snow Mon Sunday snow four degrees Monday minus three degrees Tuesday minus four degrees and now it comes up to six degrees for Wednesday and now Thursday for the shadow showers five degrees Friday next week minus four degrees going back down from five to bring up bring up the warmer from Wednesday and Thursday. So things are Saturday three degrees mostly sunny and Sunday zero degrees for Sunday next week next two weeks part particularly cloud and next two weeks Monday. Snow snow with a free sleet one degree minus. Okay, um, that's the weather update. Now it's time for entertainment update. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Okay. Let's see here for the entertainment update. All right. Um. So oh. Here it is. You heard it from Logan Paul. I just spoke to you, but it's kind of shocking. So, so after the after showing the video, after Logan Paul showed the video that uh, Korean Korean has a uh, Korean suicide video, Korean suicide video. As you show this, because this is this is going to be and. And devastating, and devastating, devastating for Logan Paul. And now he's, and now you to suspend, suspend Logan Paul for, for, for the, for the damage, for the damage for the broad, broader community, for creator community. You to say so. Logan Paul suspends you to for monetized advertisers for destroying. That border queer community, that is not good. So it was worded by Mark Bargain and Lucas Shaw from Bloomberg. It says YouTube temporary suspends as like suspends the monetized videos on the channels by celebrity Logan Paul, halting an income stream, exterminate of millions of dollars, and putting more aggressive content policy into a year. After careful consideration, we have decided to temporarily suspend ads on Logan's Paul YouTube channels. The YouTube says this is not stranger. We may likely, however, we believe he has exhibited a pattern of behavior in his videos he makes channel. Not only unsuitable for advertisers, but also potentially damaging to the broader creator community. Paul is a one of the highest profile stars YouTube and sanctioned so far in a blog post this month. YouTube chief executive officer Susan Wojcicki. Wojcicki. Uh oh, he's not. She's not very happy. She's not very happy. She's scared. She is not very happy to see Logan Paul like this. And site said developing policies will be lead to consequences if the creator does suicide. Even if she is 
that cause significant to harm uh, to our community as elsewhere, such as instance, while wear and damage your reputation and revenue of fair, she said. Palm Paul's manager and publications didn't immediately respond to requests for comments on Friday morning. Yeah. In suicide clip in Korean suit in Japan suicide video as you see, so Loki Paul's expanded. Oh boy, it's oh boy Loki Paul. Yeah. Apology letter is not gonna help. Maybe the haters and the good guys and the haters. Most haters not some good guys, but most haters doesn't like doesn't like to doesn't like like they say F you, F you and S word and they call it swearing words to slogan well what what they what they lost them what they lost their minds and lost too far they gone out of control by the by the celebrity and act fans and actor and actress what they what they are living in hell to to blame Logan Pauls and now they come down to build to build a hundred subscribers and put it to a hundred views. That's why they need to require to monetize the video. That's the problem with Logan Paul. That's the reason for this. They put it to the they have an announcement to update the policy for the channel. You need to require for hundred subscribers and require for the hundred hundred times of watching time. That's why you can monetize a video to to unlock. But I don't have a hundred subscribers, so I cannot monetize video because of Logan Paul. That's a reason for the suspended and now they update the policy. You need required for hundred hundred thousand one thousand subscribers and a thousand times of watching time. That's why it comes down. In, in YouTube headquarters in California, Los Angeles, by updating to all YouTube creators and subscribe YouTube creators and YouTube creators. So I don't know what to say. So let's see what Logan Paul's future what comes next after suspended by YouTube for the monetized ads. Before it, until it resolve the truth, before they can fix this or not. Maybe we'll see what he can. We'll see what he can do to fix everything up. Or I, or I don't know. Anyway, so that's a uh, entertaining update. So about the auto show during the announcement update, the auto show. We're on the seven days away before the auto show begins on February 16th. By the way, on Friday, so I'm gonna be on time when the op when the auto show opens at nine. So I'm gonna be at the Metro Convention Center. So there will be a new video come new video this week. So I will find a commercial. By the way. I found the Buick LaCroix, no, not Buick LaCroix, I found Buick Enclave, the 2018, this Canada version of the 2018 Buick Enclave neighborhood commercial. So if you want to go check it out on the video, it's on here, 2018 Buick Enclave neighborhood commercial, this Canada version, for involved for the 2018 International Auto Show in Toronto, the Canadian International Auto Show 2018, the new movement. So you see it on commercial. So check out the video, click it, leave 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 the comments below what you think about it, and click on the link description below to get an offer from the auto show for Canadian Auto Show. So so and buy a car in the future and see what you think about your Buick Enclave, your new one, 2018 Beyond Moon. Buick Enclave and also Buick Enclave Avenue so stylish and phenomenal so happy developers in Detroit Michigan let's see how it goes in Canadian International Auto Show by the Benz, Mercedes-Benz, Ford, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Buick, GMC, Chevrolet and much more
Let's see how it goes. So, we are under one week away, seven days away, before it's time to open on Friday, February 16, 2018. More tomorrow shows this February all month long, go to 2018 Canadian International Auto Show coming right here on New Swan 30 channel with Kobe Edgeman on YouTube. So stay tuned and I will upload the videos in a moment or later. So get your tickets by autoshow.ca and select the buy tickets. As you see, buy the tickets here, go to autoshow.ca and buy the tickets because the auto show starts February 6th, so don't miss a moment. And be prepared for exciting cars that you love in the future to buy a new car. To give a to give your parents, to give your to give your brother, to give your your special. Anyway. So buy your tickets. I'll show that's here. Oh sorry. Buy your tickets, I'll show that's here. Alright. Nothing said uh, uh, announced an update. That's a one up announcement update for the auto show for Canada and anything else. I think that's it. Nothing is nothing else. Something is new. Thank you guys for watching on daily episode number eighteen news from third channel season two with Kobe and Jermaine on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe. On the link description below, like us on Facebook, follow on the Google Plus, follow us on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. That way we have more updates regarding for 2018 World 2 Canadian International Auto Show. I'm your Echoes, Kobe Anjuman, and this has been News 30 Channel, and I will see you next time. On daily episode number 19, which is next week, Saturday, on New Spot 30 channel with Kobe Adjaman on YouTube. So I'll see you next Saturday and have a great weekend. Fairly well. Good day and good night from Brampton and your legacy, your nation.